Faith Christ, the fulfillment of God's purpose in giving men dominion, started with Christ. When Christ came, the kingdom of God came. The preaching in the New Testament begins in a peculiar way, in a way that is contrary to our concept. It says, Repent, for the kingdom of the heavens has drawn near. The words has drawn near means to is come. When Christ came, the kingdom of God came. Christ brought in the kingdom. The little man Jesus was the kingdom of God. Many Christians think that the kingdom did not come when Jesus came. According to their concept, when the Jewish people rejected Jesus with the kingdom, the kingdom was suspended and the church age began. They think that the church is not a kingdom, that after the church age, the kingdom will be established by the return of Jesus. In the Bible, there is some ground to say this that and in a sense is right, but just partially right. Romans chapter 14 verse 17 tells us that the church today is the kingdom. The church life is the kingdom. In a sense, the Jewish people rejected the kingdom. In another sense, the Lord established the kingdom by establishing the church. We can never separate the church from the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, the Lord Jesus told Peter, Peter, you are a stone, and I will build the church upon myself as the rock. The gates of Hades shall not prevail against this church. Immediately after this, the Lord Jesus said, I will give to you the keys of the kingdom. On the day of Pentecost and in the house of Cornelius, Peter established the church by using the keys of the kingdom to open the door for both Jews and Gentiles to enter into the kingdom. Thus, when the church started, the kingdom was there. The church is the kingdom. No doubt there will be a full manifestation of the kingdom in the future. But the reality of the kingdom is here today. That is the church life. Christ cast out demons to bring in the kingdom of God. The four Gospels tell us that Jesus encountered demons wherever he went. Jesus could never tolerate demons, and he immediately cast them out. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 28, Jesus tells us that his casting out the demon was the coming of the kingdom. That was the dominion of God. Adam had failed to bring in the kingdom, but when Jesus came, he brought in the kingdom by casting out demons. To cast out demons means to bring in the kingdom of God. Christ gave his disciples authority over the power of the enemy. Christ also gave his disciples authority over all the power of Satan. In Luke chapter 10 verse 19, the Lord Jesus said, Behold, I have given you the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Both serpents and scorpions are in plural, indicating that there are many, they are many. In verse 18 of the same chapter, we see Satan. In verse 20, we have the spirits, that is the demons. The serpents means the satanic power, and the scorpions means the demonic power. Satan, the serpents, and the scorpions have power, but we have authority. Our authority exceeds their power. There are many powerful cars on the streets. However, the little policeman has authority. When he says stop, you stop. The cars have power. The policeman has authority. Satan and his demons have power. But we are God's policemen. We must give Satan the commandment stop. When Jesus gave this authority to his disciples and they exercised it to cast out demons, they were excited. However, the Lord Jesus told them, don't rejoice in this. You must rejoice in something better than something better, that your names are written in heaven. When Jesus came, the kingdom came. When Jesus cast out demons, he brought in the kingdom of God. Also, Jesus did this by and through his disciples. He gave them authority to cast out demons, and they did.